So yeah, I want to talk about the D.C. Blacks, right? The D.C. Blacks is an African-American prison gang in the United States um, whose members are from D.C. Okay, let's let's get into it. D.C. Blacks, right? Just just D.C. and Blacks. Look, look, look what come up. Look what Google will tell you D.C. Blacks is. Prison gang that allied with the Black Gorilla family uh, the AB is one of their main rivals, although the DC blocks are one of the largest prison gangs within the penitentiary. They are small compared to gangs outside the prison system, such as uh, B's and C's. The DC blocks prison gang also to have originated in the 60s, right? Against the AB. Okay, and you see it's only, con- only consistent of W. M's, right? Just read, I can't read some of these words, but you see what kind of war it was, right? Through the 80s, through the 90s, okay? Okay, I can't say some of these words, but, you know, I just, you know, maybe y'all can pause and get it in, but... You know, this is, we can say it's just D.C. Blacks. Like, some people don't know about that. You know, they get a little rap. I mean, of course, Wikipedia, not no credible, edible source, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, we, we, we scratch the surface. You know, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't going super deep. I'm just, you know, it's, it's like trying to cheat somebody on the train. I, I, I can't go, but so deep, I'm just trying to, you know, kick it to you real quick, like a good sample size, and, and, and maybe you get it, right? So D.C. Blacks, right? Now notice what I put in the search bar, though, D.C. Moors. Did you catch that? What I put in the search bar was D.C. Moors, the, fr- the, the, <laughs> the first thing, not the Moor science and the temple and the and Spain and the Barbary, DC Blacks. DC motherfucking Blacks. Okay. Now this this the little uh they got a little shop set up uh here in the Masonic nation's capital. Right. Uh <laughs> can of bliss. But um you see that's it right there. Now where that's at, that's that's the trenches, that's the trap, you know, that's a that's a dangerous area right there. Been a road, Minnesota. Yeah, so they in the uh they in the <laughs> you know they in the low income be careful corner. You know. Man, I'm showing you like, you know, I mean, this is a real thing, right? Because I'm gonna show you some other, you know, uh, basically evidence that's that's with where the troglodyte is going to get. You'll see, right? See, I'm just giving you the unique perspective of living in D.C. and 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 understanding and having this around you, right? So you see our prophet. Right, let's see what Facebook say. You see what the tattoos say. See, I don't even want to show too much. You dig, but um, you know you got you got the DC guys. Um, notice I just put in DC Moors, but this seemed to be what come up. They said they knew the art and science of Moroccan style. Mm. Mm-mm. So yeah, y'all can, you know, get into that. But see, it's a DC Black slash the Moors. Our prophets say DC Moors. Right. And then that interview dude had the feds on. Right? 
Pussy, it, 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 I don't, like, for the rest of the nation, for the Moors out there, I don't know if, you know, maybe that's what's going on for real behind the scenes, but for us in D.C., yeah, Moors hit different, hit different in D.C., right? So this is a little Facebook page, Moors Science Temple of D.C. You see the temple. You know, remember I told y'all about the robe. Every time the dude get on stage, he got the robe. You know, the Freemasonic handshake, the Islamic crescent moon, and the one eye God. It, it say our God with the one eye. Right, not my words, they words. Right, not my words, they words. That's that's the that's the God. It said our God. But um so let me show you how it hit in DC. Right, this the Washington Post, right? Washington Post. I'm in DC, you know what I mean? I'm born, raised, bred, you know, bred, born, raised. Okay, check it out. Moorish Americans take over rural range, sparking a strange showdown. All right, you see the dude that wrote it, Troglodyte. Okay. Now, this is Washington Post, but they talking about Maryland. All right. It say would be heirs, would be heirs to a mythical North African empire moved in claiming their dominion extends not only over the lost land of Atlantis. Right? Look how the Washington Post kicking it. Okay. Uh, then the group calling itself Moorish Americans, an offshoot of the extremist sovereign citizen movement whose members believe they are immune from dealings with the U.S. legal and financial system, essentially took over the reins, declaring it jurisdiction of Morocco. Okay, the deputies raided the property, seized the bail, dozens of straps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thomason, the troglodyte, who got straps himself, Everybody shoots around here. I thought it was, so you see what they was kicking, but. Yeah, it's like, and you know, we got, you know, Atlantic City. Out here in New Jersey. I just thought that was interesting. Atlantis, Atlantic, Atlanta. All right, City Aquarium. Got a new Aquaman movie coming out. But I ain't gonna get off topic. DC Moors, DC Blacks. DC Moors, DC Blacks. So, so as a DC Washingtonian, when somebody say Moor, this is what I know. This is what comes to mind. You dig? Shit like this. You know? Like, like big boy, heavy clash with the law. Like, but, but, but see, I don't understand. I thought we had a Moroccan treaty. I'm gonna have to give you a part two, DC Moors. Right? The Moroccan Treaty. Why are we claiming sovereignty if we got a treaty? What, what's going on? Right? Okay, now you know you got to hear images. Images gonna tell. Okay? You see Jeff Fort, I told y'all about. I told y'all, Jeff Fort was right there. Look, they don't give you too many images, right? Somebody did that on Reddit, right? You got the brothers right there when you see the, okay? That's Cadillac, right, dude? That's the dude that did the Al Prophet interview in the feds. Right, might as well get y'all part two of this. This, this, this. this might be a part two, right? But do you know, this is, this is, Let's make it real. Atlantis and American Islands. Like, so you got to you got to really understand what's going on with, with 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 you know what I mean. Slowly but surely, if they kick it to you too heavy, you might miss it. They got something interesting. 
images. But basically nothing as you scroll down, right? Nothing, you know. But the first two things come up is this, this versus the, right? You see the title of that uh, display, right? Okay, let's go back to the civil rights of the 60s and 70s, right? So you wonder why the channel called on code when you in DC? You got to, you, you, you know who the enemy is and you, you, you'll see what I'm saying about on code. I'm gonna come to you, you know, on code. You, you, you assimilating and you moving parallel with the troglodyte. Right, but when, when when the law toss you in the slammer, see everything in D.C. is 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 federal, right? It's the District of Columbia. It's a federal district. So anything you get locked up for, you going to the feds. You're not going to the local jail, right? You going straight to the feds for whatever, right? The dumbest shit, you going to the feds. Like we got a D.C. jail, but it's small. Right, so it, it it can't house everybody. So once you get your situation, you 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 go into the big leagues, right? And these dudes got a name for themselves, right? The DC Blacks, right? This is the images of the DC Blacks, right? I I, I can get I can go even deep. I can give you a part two. It get real, like I'm talking about real real. Right? It get real. But it kind of hit close to home, so I don't know if I want to put it on the YouTube, for the youtube ends, you dig? But, uh, yeah, just, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I might, but it get real. It get this type of real, right? That's what I know the feds from. That's what I know the feds. I don't know the feds from all this high science and 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 Atlantis and all that. When growing up here in DC, that's what I know the feds from. When you seen somebody had that feds on, you wasn't thinking knowledge. You was thinking, yeah, but. I don't know, I just, I, I wanted to kick that to y'all. You know, here, living here in D.C., you know, the D.C. Blacks is associated with the Moors, right? But the D.C. Blacks is a prison gang. Like, don't get it confused, right? But the original D.C. Blacks back in the 60s with Big Cadillac and all them dudes, they was, they was fezzed up. They was they was Jeff Fort down. You understand? They was more as back when Jeff Fort. This is black and white TV type shit. So now, a lot of dudes is Muslim in DC. See right? Like like I didn't I didn't know the play right. This inside the temple, right? This inside the temple, right? But see, I didn't know to play while all the jail dudes was doing Muslim here. I'm saying in D.C., where everybody was saying Mo and Ah, and everybody was getting, you know, uh, the crescent moon and star on their face. In D.C., right? Everybody was Muslim. I'm like, everybody Muslim. But the more science practice Islam, you see the crescent moon, it says salvation. They came up together out the neighborhood. Right. We hung together, we looked out for one another, and we didn't go for anything, you know. Uh, if you do something to one, you got to do to all. If you would do something to one of us that's in Lewisburg, well, wherever you go, you're going to get taken care of because you violated, you did something to one of us. And, 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 and under any means necessary, we would get you. After the prison slaying of a DC black in 1983, Crowder did exactly that. This is a story of one of the bloodliest wars in the history of federal prison between the DC blacks versus the Aryan Brotherhood, the ABs. 
It all started in 1997 at USP Marion in Illinois. It all started because a DC black member beat up or stabbed a member of the Dirty White Boys. It is said the DC black member who beat up or stabbed the Dirty White Boy was on bad terms with the DC car. So since he was scared the DC blacks might do something to him, he decided to beat up or stab a member of the Dirty White Boys. He did all this because he wanted to check in, leave the yard, and go to protective custody. Since the member of the DC blacks didn't ask his shot callers could he do this, it caused a problem in the yard between the DC blacks, the ABs, and the Dirty White Boys. Since the ABs and the Dirty White Boys rocked together in the yard with each other, the ABs will also now have a problem with the DC blacks. It is said since all three cars couldn't talk it out, that same day members of the DC blacks attacked some members of the Dirty White Boys on the yard. This attack on the Dirty White Boys led to AB shot callers putting a hit out on any DC blacks and put their hands on a white person. This war between the DC blacks and the ABs at USP Marion would eventually lead to a war starting at USP Lewisburg. Once the top leaders of the ABs named Mary Mills and T.D. Brigham found out the DC blacks put a hit out on two AB shot callers at USP Marion, leader T.D. Brigham decided to send a letter to USP Lewisburg declaring war against the DC blacks. On August 28, 1997, a shot caller of the ABs. Now, the most loyal group of individual when it comes down to a city or a district is the dude from D.C. One thing about them, they might be for the each other in the joint, but you can't be with a D.C. dude and 500 of them guys not coming around the corner to see you. So D.C. dudes are very loyal to their set and to their people inside the institution. But they will be with each other, Southwest and Northeast. But if you cross one of them, mm, 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 it's going to be H-E-L-L -L to pay. When they came through ADX, you know what I mean?